All right. We are back. Uh, Evan Light. Aiden Haney. Ben Wingbud. Max and Tanishek. We're back to talk a little bit more, but now uh, I'm going to be the host. Max is going to be our co-host. And we're gonna be Best talking. co-host in the league, you know. You already know. We are we're gonna be talking a little bit about this uh this Minecraft realm, boys. I mean, I know uh we got we got some viewers in the back. Yeah, we got, that are a, got a lot of, of viewers here. Sir. But uh Solid I know Ben's too. a part of it. Yeah, dude. There's like twenty people in the Minecraft world. It's kinda of twenty insane. people yeah. is a little wild. So for those of you that don't know, Minecraft Realm, it's uh it's basically just an open world that you can join whenever you want and you know, it's Minecraft, so you can do whatever you want, but Ben, how how would you say that you know you've kind of like connected with some people around the school off that? I've connected mostly with Max Montague and Evan Chang out there. We've been playing oh, all Chong. night, staying up, you know, grinding, 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 grinding diamonds, you know. But yeah, we just mobs, we join a Discord call. And we all just talk for hours and play, and it's fun. That's that's awesome. I I'm part of it, but I haven't I haven't been on the grind like. Ben and Evan have, but uh, Aiden. I mean, I know you're not like, you yeah. know, Aiden. Aiden plays football. We're gonna get talking yeah, about that. Yeah. But uh, I mean, Aiden, what what would you say about it? Like, like what are your personal? So I, I'm not a big video gamer. I play mm. maybe MLB the show at home maybe once a week, if little, that. Little home run derby. Little, yeah, yeah, pretty much just little home run derby here and then. But um, I will say them this Minecraft world that you guys are doing. It seems to be that like once a year, everybody gets together on Minecraft for a while, and then it kind of just dissipates like again until the next year. Like, yeah. But I'll tell you what, this year it's bringing a lot of energy. It's it's bringing definitely. a lot of people together, no, yeah. but it's also it could be tearing people apart. Uh, especially you, Merrick Ball. If you yeah, see this, do Ball. not steal Dude, got- any more Ender Pearls <laughs> for Max Montague. That's not appreciated. You know, you could be ruining friendships over Minecraft. Truly, yeah. For Truly. at least a couple weeks. Don't start war now. This is supposed to be a <laughs> war. So yeah, it's a little messed up. You know, we don't want to start a Minecraft war. We're all friends here. We all uh-huh. join the server to have fun together. And you're out here stealing Ender Pearls, and uh, we don't appreciate that. But I can is, say it has been very positive, other is, than the Ender Pearls. It is not a shot at you, Merrick Ball. It is a suggestion. We'd suggestion love to make peace. Yes, peace we want to make peace on this server. Like we're all on Discord together. We're all on these calls together. We want to have fun. No more, no more hostility. Stealing Ender pearls from Max's chest, like uncalled for. That's uncalled just out of pocket in general. I think like, uncalled for. It's supposed to be united. It's supposed to bring friends <laughs> together. <laughs> so, Aiden, football season is coming to an end. But uh, I mean, you know, and your football career. But uh, you know, how would you say over this season, over the last four years, you and the other guys have grow uh so a lot of these dudes would have never been friends with ever quentin scott for example he knows it i've talked to him about this before what i would have never seen myself as his friend i would have been um more reserved you know i would have yeah just just somebody you know you're like hey what's going on yeah like yo what's going on pass him in the hallway whatever but grown that's just an example there's many of them but that's just a Quentin's just a good dude, you know? Like, he's one of those guys that I would have never known this if I never had talked to him. But I talked to him during football, and uh, now I, I trust him with my life. Quentin's a great guy. He's just one example, and we build many friendships like that in football. Many trust. We build a lot of trust. That's what I meant to say. That's great. That's great. Um, it's very good to hear, you know, when you got people on a team, you – you want to make sure you're tightly knit together. You know, mm-hmm. you're always on the family. same page. Yeah, you're kind of a family. We kind of made that a little bit of a staple for the, the soccer team this year. We're a family, you know. We go out there together. We win together. We lose together. Everything. But um, specifically, I would like to talk more about, you know, growth from the football team and uh, the coaching staff. Because, you know, last year we had new coaches come in. And, you know, I would like to know how, you know, that, that converted for you guys, you know? So, uh, as you guys know, last coach, uh, Mr. Hopkins, he was here for 50 something years and, uh, he did a fantastic job, but, uh, sometimes people just need to flip the page to that next chapter. And, uh, I think it was a a pretty cool experience Mm because 
I mean, I love Mr. Hopkins. He was a great coach. Uh, but when Chad came in, it was kind of new. It was, uh, he's young. He's exciting. He was, um, he was pumped up, and he pumped a lot of us up. And uh, he's taught us some great life lessons along the way. Um, different style of coaching, for sure, than we've grown up with. But uh, he's very organized, very driven, and he wants to win, which is a great aspect of the coach, I think. 2022 district champions, correct? Uh, yes, we were. We made so, it to the final eight in the state. You know, first year, that's that's very yeah, that's, that's very big. good. That's very it's accomplished very year. This year, we're hoping, you know, boys can get back to the same same thing, this championship. Hope you guys, we can get it done. You guys got a uh, tough game against Mason, yeah, this, Mason Friday. this Friday. We do. It's a tough game, but it's winnable. They're, uh, they put on their pants one leg at a time, just like us. Exactly. Ah. They do. They do. Oh, let's talk about the olden days. How about that? You like that? The old days, Fortnite. Oh, okay. All right, Fortnite. Golly. All right. Well, me personally, I mean, I haven't touched that game. Maps coming back. Yeah, the maps map. coming back. Yeah, always got to hop on. Back, yep. When? Like, uh, a couple, couple days, weeks. Like or two yeah. weeks or something. What? Yeah. 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 And then there's going to be no more updates, updates ever again. Are you serious? Like, yeah. I could, it can still be played, but there will be no more updates. Dang. I mean, they made their money. That's all they really care about. So. Yep. Dang, Fortnite's bro. a touchy subject for me. You know? I didn't know. Honestly, Fortnite, really Fortnite, was, Fortnite was like the game. Dude. It was Honestly, the game. It was the game. It 2017 was, uh, to like 2020, mid quarantine. Like quarantine really got Fortnite going. Wow, that's, that's Quar- so Quarantine true. was the nostalgia yeah. for me, man. It like brings back old high school memories of uh, quarantine. Freshman year, uh, I used to play Z- Downhill River Zone Wars and Tilted Zone Wars. <laughs> Every single night until like 3 a.m. in the middle of winter. Uh, I think it was chapter seven, the winter chapter. Yeah, I'll hop on downhill zone wars. I'll hop on a uh, ski mountain zone wars sometimes. I was playing it with Evan. I was playing it with Ben. Uh, Max probably was in there a couple times. Probably. I had uh, Connor Scalinger, Merrick Ball, Devin Nowak, uh, Dylan Katzenberger. He moved away to Fenton, but like a lot of people, man. It was a great time in my life. This is definitely a, a very good uh Topic, you know, us being seniors, just going back on the video games. Speaking of which, you know, Fortnite, I think uh, Fortnite's a great game, but I think Call of Duty is Yeah, Call better. of Duty all over, like, top. I, I know Ben was a big Call of BO3. Duty guy. Yeah. Not sure about Aiden. I like BO2. 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 I was I wasn't, I wasn't a big Call of Duty guy just because I hadn't gotten my first PlayStation until I was, like, 12 or 13 years old, so that was... You know, that was uh, so many years. That's four or five years ago, right when Fortnite came out. So hopped on Fortnite, grinded that for about four or five years. Moved on to MLB the Show, and I never really got into Call of Duty too much. I do yeah. have the games, but yeah, older Call of Duties, <clears throat> they're obviously better. I mean, the new ones don't get as much uh, viewership. We just had a minor dilemma in the back. Um, Tactical difficulties. We're all good though. Um, yeah, you know, nah. I feel like Call of Duty's kind of falling off a lot, yeah. but. Um, just oh, gaming man. in general, like I feel like once you get older, like you game less. It's not as it's fun. It's not as fun. It's definitely true. Yeah, I think that's why the Minecraft thing is like so, like fun right yeah. now. It's yeah. like we got everybody's coming yeah, back. Yeah, everybody's uh-huh. on it. You know, everybody's talking. Everybody's grinding the game. Yep. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like that. You, you know? don't like the olden days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We brought back the nostalgia. We brought yeah, back the reasons. <laughs> We brought back the video games that brought us together, the sports that brought us together as friends. And uh, even though it's not seen as much because it's video games, I think that could build a lot of great relationships in high school. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I know I've definitely made some friends just off video games. It might sound silly, but it's the truth. Yeah, no, that is the truth. And, uh, and sports. I know we talked more about football today, but me and Max, we play lacrosse. Yeah. Ben plays soccer, baseball. He plays oh. baseball as well. Uh, so we're also two ex wrestlers, so you know the relationships you build from video games and sports. It's uh, it's very special. Uh huh. Certain, it's a different connection. You know, like you guys are brothers at the end of the day, so like it's chill. Absolutely. Great talk, boys. Brought Great back talk. a lot of memories for me. Good talk. Hey, I had a lot of fun today. Thank you.